I have an affinity for things. Objects, vintage, antique, old toys, things found, collected, inherited, infused with history. But whose history? These objects fuel my love of the still life genre. I paint objects that are personal, full of sentimental meaning, immortalizing certain people, things, commemorating. Sometimes abstract elements appear, like quotations of my previous work. I illuminate small, maybe overlooked items, really focusing on the light and the shadow, exploring the highlights and the reflections, and the color and texture in the shadows. I intentionally choose items that represent specific things for me, or just things I like, things that I'm really drawn to. I recreate personal childhood experiences or feelings from a childhood where dysfunction is the family heirloom. I also make commissioned works for others that include their cherished family heirlooms. A more neutral view. But typically I'm hinting at my own story, but I like to be vague. So you can fill in the blanks. Give the viewer room for their own personal reactions or memories. While I'm setting up a still life, I play with the placement of the objects, sometimes um, substituting certain, certain things, different combinations, viewed from different angles, and I play with the lighting to see how it changes the expressions on the things. Sometimes a story emerges all on its own through some perceived interaction or relationship among the objects, and then I go with it. I get lost in the details. I love the way the paint moves. I play with, with color um, and varying lines. Love reproducing objects in paint. And I'm exploring the uncanny, like dolls and clowns and how they become lifelike. How does this happen? I use recognizable objects in my paintings, typically, to help you evoke your own memories like a beloved sock monkey, tiny troll doll. And I capture these things in secret little environments, on a dusty shelf, in a little pocket of nature, hiding among forest mushrooms, under the shade of a little flower nestled in clover. I also paint over old abstract paintings and this adds depth and texture. And I wonder what these objects, these paintings evoke for you, the viewer. I see various reactions. Some people smile and go, hey, I had one of those. Or shudder and, ooh, that's creepy. I think about the, the difference between the nostalgic and the creepy and how different people react differently. How could a coquettish Cupid doll be creepy?